Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Eliana, and in today's video, it's a balloon garland with a foil balloon 3D cows. So if you guys wanna see how I made this, well, keep on watching.
So basically for this balloon garland, I used different shades of pink and I also had those uh, cow pattern white balloons and I had the cow foil balloon, the 3D foil balloon. All of this I bought on Amazon, so I will link everything down below so you have access to it if ever you're interested. But basically I just inflated my balloons, different uh, sizes also, which I like the look of. Um, it's nice to have like the same size, but it's also nice to have different sizes of balloons. It just gives another look to it. So, and I attached them with, um, fishing wire so that they stay really nice and then I attach them to my normal wall um, but if you don't have that set up again I say it in all my videos you can use command hooks so command hooks work super well especially for outside why because they stick a lot so just be really really careful because it might rip off your paint happened to me so don't come after me if you use command hooks and you have to repaint Okay, I, disclaimer, it might rip off your w paint wall. So just think twice about that. If, or also another thing you can use, and it worked fine for me, is um, little uh, thumbtacks. I don't know if it's thumbtacks, but little, um, I, I guess it's thumbtacks. You just like, you could like, uh, you know, you clip on the board to put your like notes. You can do that also and then just attach your fishing wire to it and it works well it's it's quite sturdy to to stick if you're doing like a shape like this if that makes sense but command hooks i mean you can't go wrong with that and if you have the setup that i have to which is two windows just attach them to um the the curtain rods and then you'll be fine and then so I went ahead with that. I did the, the colors first, the pink colors first. Once, once I had that look, I went ahead and then just added my pattern balloons and then finished the look with my 3D foil balloons. Um, some people are gonna come after me because that's not how you inflate 3D balloons and I get it. I'm not a professional balloon artist. I'm just a mom of three that will show you how she's doing it her way. I'm lazy like that. I prefer to use the electric machine and then just like use a little, normally like 3D balloons or balloons like that or foil balloons, they come with a straw. So I just insert that a little bit and then I use my electric machine. If you're using my trick, okay, just be careful and keep an eye on your balloon because one, it inflates super easy, super fast, so it might, pop so when you see that it's like obviously like filled up like stop or else it's just gonna go and it's gonna pop so normally the balloon artists they use a uh like a, a hand balloon and then it just inflated like that i don't have time for that so i use the same machine and it works fine for me sometimes um the the bottom like the, the insertion is a little bit too wide so what i do is just I, I just fold it and then to my machine and then it just like like the air doesn't come out so and then it just inflates and then it's just for me that's the way i go about is it the right way probably not because balloon artists don't do that but i mean you can choose whatever you want for me that's how i did it and it worked so and that was basically it i sticked it to the balloons with a little bit of balloon glue um and yeah so i really hope you guys enjoy if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up thanks for watching and see you in the next one